Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and uh, welcome to an, an update on Matic or Pol. I'm, I'm not actually sure when they're, they're switching up the token, uh, but for now, we'll still call it Matic. Um, we'll do a full update. I actually do think that some more bullish momentum is possible for Matic. So that's the main reason why I wanted to do a full update, a technical update. I don't think we'll take a look at fundamentals like uh, network statistics and stuff. But if you are interested in that, Please let me know, because then I'll just cover it uh, a standard in these videos. Um, but yeah, uh, in general, I just wanted to do a quick announcement or quick notice is that now that these market circumstances right now are quite uh, boring, to say the least, uh, I, I wanted to, to, to cover these bigger cryptos like Matic, like Cardano a little bit more often, uh, like do some more standard updates on that. Let me know what you think about that. All right. So let me know if you would like to see Matic, Cardano and Solana every day, every other day, something like that. All right. But for now, we'll get into Matic uh, quickly before we start. I think most of you know this, but I have my own premium trading group in which I share my own signals and I'm a profitable trader. But apart from that, you also gain uh, access to an exclusive traders chat room and my trading guide. So if you actually want to make a profit and become a profitable trader yourself, check that out. Uh, but for now on to Matic, of course. So what we're seeing with Matic right now in terms of volume is that the volume is pretty decent. Like compared to last week, it's a little bit low, but that's across the entire market. All right. And then what we're seeing in terms of price is that there is a little bit of bullish momentum getting into the price. You can see that, that we're making some, some higher lows for the last seven days. And then apart from that, Matic was also able to, to break above this resistance level right here between, I would say around 55 and a half cents. I think that's the most accurate, but um, it's, it's kind of between 55 and 55 and a half cents. It also has the 28 EMA, which was first resistance. Now we broke above that. So Matic itself right now is in some sort of neutral territory where it's definitely not bullish if you, if you uh, uh, zoom out a bit, but it's also not as bearish. Uh, as it was last week, especially not with this new bullish momentum forming, it being respected, some bullish breakouts, so some bullish confirmations. So the biggest thing that Matic can do, and by the way, it's also like uh, so, some sort of recovery for Bitcoin is also quite likely in my eyes. So the biggest thing that Matic has to do is break out above 57 cents. That's the main breakout we need. If Matic is able to break above that, it will probably find resistance at 58 cents, but then take a bullish break retest and get up towards, I would say the main price target is 60 cents. This is the main thing I think we, we want to see from Matic. And I also think at this point of time, it's the most likely scenario. Uh, all right. So I do want to have said that. But then straight after saying that, I do want to say as well um, that you have to be prepared for both scenarios. The market right now is still very bearish. So even though we are seeing some bullish signs, you should know that you should see the market as something like this. All right. So I'm going to try, I'm going to, try to make it clear. Matter right now is in neutral territory. So between getting some more bullish momentum and being bearish. So we're in this area between 0 0.553 and 0 0.57 cents. At this point of time, like I said, I think the most likely scenario is that 57 cents can break and that we'll get a bullish breakout with some more recovery. But you should know as well that if Matic breaks down below this level right here at 55.3 cents or 55 cents, then it's just going to be bearish. It will drop back down to 53 cents and potentially even lower at some point of time down to 51 cents if Bitcoin is bearish as well. So even though at this point of time, there are some signs of bullish momentum and some more recovery at any point of time, if 55 cents gives up as a support, Matic will return to be being bearish very, very quickly. All right. So that's my full analysis. That's my take on Matic for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.